Joining me in business Q&A this evening is Albert Brednam, the MD of www.jump.coza. Welcome, Albert. Thank you very much. Now, we've heard some research released by Worldwide Works in partnership with, with yourself that tells us um, that about 200 million rands will have been spent over the Christmas period on online shopping. That, that seems to be a phenomenal figure. Is it? It's a phenomenal figure for South Africa, and I think it's a great mm -hmm. time, and I think online shopping in South Africa is really booming. Um, the total sales, online sales in South Africa for the year um, is estimated at 925 million rand, mm -hmm. um, of which Christmas sales makes about 20% of that. And I think maybe this year we can go as high as 25% of that um, being for Christmas. And um, I was looking earlier, it seems that the 900 of the 920, um, 929 million, I think it is, um, that figure has jumped by 20% year on year from a few years ago. So it really has jumped, excuse the pun, uh, uh, very quickly in the last couple of years. Yes, it did. did. Um, this year it actually jumped by about 35%. Mm -hmm. And I think next year there will be an even better, um, bigger growth due to the rollout of broadband more users being online, mm -hmm. more educated users, and I think next year probably will be bigger here than this year, so we're extremely excited. Tell us about your business in particular. How does it work? Jump.co.za is an online shopping search engine. So what we do is, we, there's about a thousand online stores in South Africa, and we aggregate all the products from all these stores and put them onto one page for the consumer, in order to, for them to do comparative shopping and find the product they're looking for at the best price. And it's pay per click as I understand it. It's pay per click by the merchants actually and not it's free for the consumer. So the consumer will make use of our service and find the best product at the best price at Jump. What uh, trends are emerging at the moment in terms of the most popular items that people are going to be shopping for over the festive period perhaps? This year it will definitely be a gadget Christmas. We saw in the last um, month or two the rise of search terms like GPS's, Garmin um, Global Positioning Systems, um, the Wii console, the PlayStation 3, iPod, iPhones, and it's just gadgets, gadgets, gadgets. People are, well definitely, their Christmas socks will be filled with gadgets. And who's buying? Who's buying? Everybody, all age groups. And I think it's probably, if you look at the gadget, it's uh, GPS for mom and the PlayStation 3 for, the, for dad or for the kids. Mm. It's, it's a combination of all. Obviously books and CDs and DVDs are still booming and everybody's buying those th things still online. All right. Albert, in terms of um, the, in the e-commerce environment that, shop, that uh, online shoppers operate in and businesses such as yours operate in, is the e-commerce environment in South Africa uh, a hindrance to operating successfully or is it, uh, does it provide a sort of smooth sailing? I don't think we are, uh, we've got a smooth, smooth sailing yet. I think there's a few things that still need to happen in order for us to even go double what we've got right now. I think one of the first ones is the rollout of broadband in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's got um, access to broadband yet and I guess the telcos and of South Africa is doing their best to roll it out as quickly as possible so that everybody's got access. Um, I think another one that's hindering is the fact that some of the big major players like Hi-Fi Corporation, forgive me for mentioning it, and all the stores that you see in malls, you can't buy their products online yet and you still have to go to the malls. And I think a few of those things will make a big difference in the future. So you're also looking to the merchants to, to see the opportunities that exist in online shopping? I, I really hope that this result that um, Arthur Goldstock from Worldwide Works has put together will show some of the merchants that there's a community and a following of online readership that will really, you can tap into that and they should see the internet as just another platform for their stores. Great, Albert. Thanks for joining us in the studio to shed some light on uh, your online shopping trends. Thank you. Thank you very much.